what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The United States flew two supersonic bombers over the Korean Peninsula today as a show of force against North Korea. Why would they do that? Well, Otto Warmbier, the college student who was returned from North Korea after 17 months of captivity, he was in a coma. Remember, he went out there with a group of church people on a tour and he thought it was a good idea to steal a propaganda banner from his hotel. Yeah. Well, he died yesterday. So a lot of Americans are kind of pissed off because he died as a result of neurological damage that occurred while he was in prison in North Korea. So they're out there saying things like, we need to do something about North Korea. We need to do something. We need to level that piece of shit place. We need to wipe them off the map. Here's the problem with that. Do you really think that Kim Jong-un is concerned about America? Do you really believe that he's afraid of America? No, he's not. He got hella back up. And America knows it. See, the problem with going in there also is that there's this little place called Seoul. Seoul has 10 million people. And North Korea has 10,000 missiles aimed at them. Let something go down. That's going to be the first place to get hit. And you talking about casualties. It's going to be a lot of dead bodies. And America ain't going away unscathed. I know some of y'all, well, well, you know, that's just the business of war. You know, there'll be casualties of war. If they die, they die. I know you don't give a damn about other people. Some of y'all don't give a damn about other, other people and their children. You just care about yours. So when other people's children gets killed, gets murdered, get maimed, you just kind of like, and, and all of your holiness just turn away, act like it never happened. Because for you, it's business as usual. It's the cost. It's the cost of doing business so that you can maintain your lifestyle of privilege. Fake outrage, theatrics. That's all this boils down to. Boils down to fake outrage and theatrics. Kim cited that the reason why he wants to keep his nuclear program is because of what happened in Libya. Y'all know what happened in Libya. Libya halted its nuclear program. They tried to exercise diplomacy with America, with the West. They still got invaded. They still went in there and killed their leader. Did them real bad. And most Americans celebrated. At least the ones that I saw, they celebrated because they believe the propaganda. See, the propaganda is when they put a person out in the front who doesn't comply, who is not in tune with their policies. They put them out in the front and they project him as an evil person. And then they come up with all of these things that this person supposedly did wrong, especially when they're from foreign countries. They, they always say stuff like they're starving their people. <laughs> they're killing their people. And Kim Jong-un, he's shown the 
propensity to actually kill his people. A lot of his people are famine. He kills family members. But this dude is just upfront with what he does. In America, we throw rocks and hide our hands. This guy throws a rock and say, did you catch that? Did you film that? Did you get it? He let you know straight up, I ain't faking, I ain't playing, this is what it is. And this is what's gonna happen if you mess with me. So it's the faking, it's the theatrics. Trump sent those missiles over there, sent those bombers over to fly over the peninsula because he's listening to his base and they're telling him, well, we gotta do something. We ain't gonna really do nothing, but we gotta act like we're doing something. We gotta do something. We can't just sit back and let him do what he wanna do. Um, we gotta do something. I mean, uh, the kid died, you know, so, and North Korea is responsible and, you know, your supporters, they'll believe anything. And so just give them anything. Just give them something. And they'll be okay with today. They'll get through today. Just give them anything. Just give them something. We ain't got to attack nobody. We ain't got to kill. We ain't got to bomb North Korea. We ain't got to do nothing. All we got to do is act like we're doing something. And they'll forgive us or they'll give us a pass. And they'll be like, you see, Donald Trump is taking care of business, buddy. Donald Trump is making it happen. He's doing something about it. He's taking the case to the people. <laughs> Donald Trump is taking care of business because he basically flew an exercise. Basically what that amounts to is a military exercise. He ain't going to do jack. He ain't doing nothing but posturing. That's all he's doing. Does anybody really think that North Korea is intimidated by America? Do you really think that? I hope you don't. Because if you believe that, I got a bridge in Fifth Ward to sell you. You got to be out of your mind. Dude is a maniac. Dude is a sociopath. He's basically Donald Trump unchecked. That's who he is. He's Donald Trump who don't have to answer to anybody. Same people. So when you go after him, so when you talk about how bad this guy is, look in the mirror at your own president. Look at him. It's the same person. Remember this, the guy who was running for president who said he could shoot somebody in the middle of Fifth Avenue and you still vote for him. That is the rhetoric, the communication of a dictator, of a ruler, not a president, a ruler, a dictator, a narcissist, an evil, wicked person. That's what you got. What I want to know is when Will America learn to mind her own business and stay out of folks' business? When will America stop investing more money in wars than they do in after-school programs, in schools, in community building? in proper police training, in health care, in fixing some of these raggedy roads, anywhere you go. It's a, it's a shame that you can go into the biggest cities in America and the roads are worse than some third world countries. Some of these damn roads, man, it's like it's a conspiracy. It's like they got a conspiracy going on with the auto repair companies or something. It's like, yo, we're going we're gonna to make some type of uh, situation here where we're not going to repair roads for years. We're not going to repair the roads for years, and we're going to force people to buy struts, and we're going to force them to get new alignments and stuff. It's like they're in it together. It's like they're all in the same gang or something. It's something going on. That money could be better used for 
improving the quality of life for people. But it's not because they're very effective with scaring the American people and talking about how dangerous everybody else is to America. So we have to be ready for war at all times and we have to go in and take over countries and invade people and kill people. That way we maintain our place and our safety in the world. They have to convince the American people of this. So that's why it's so hard to redirect those funds. So it's not going to happen. Sad thing. The U.S. ain't going to do jack. North Korea know it. Donald Trump sending those bombers over to the Korean Peninsula was nothing but a waste of fuel. That's all it was. Trump would have done better rolling down the window at the White House and screaming out to Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong-un, um, that's his name, Kim Jong-un, um, my fault. But he would have done better screaming out and rolling down the window at the White House and just yelling out, you better stop it. Stop being fools. Stop falling for the okie doke, man. Anything that happens, any war that happens in the Korean Peninsula, if, if a war breaks out, you're not going to benefit. It's not going to be to your benefit. Believe that. It's going to be for Trump and his homies so they can get paid off of war services and war products. And it's going to be so that he can put his name in the history books as a war president because that's who he admire most. Guys who have caused the most atrocities in the world. Those are the people he look, at, he look up to. It's no coincidence that his hero is Adolf Hitler and his nickname is Adolf Twitler. No more talk. What the talking about. Yeah. Order of protection.